Hi folks, welcome to this video, which is a very quick video to show you the principle of how to go about testing an optical speed sensor, such as this one, and that's the kind of thing you'll find on the back of a drive motor. Often uh, you'll see it like that or inside this plastic enclosure. Or you can also use the same principle for using uh, testing um, an induction sensor or a Hall effect sensor. Um, the principle is very much the same. The problem with these testing these two with a conventional multimeter is that you can't. Uh, put simply, uh, you can't test it as you would a magnetic speed sensor, for example, because uh, the multimeter won't won't register a pass or a fail result for you. So what you need is a little circuit rather like this. So I have here a power supply. So in here we've got a little 9 volt battery, which is switching on an on off switch. I've got my positive and negative, and that's going to a little pull up and pull down uh, voltage um, regulator. Uh, I'm just using 100 ohm resistors, voltage divider rather, uh, so I can um, limit the amount of current passing through the circuit. And I need to do that because I'm using an LED here to test the output. If I put the LED direct onto the battery, it would blow up the LED, so I don't want to do that, hence why I've got my voltage divider. So I'm going to be using that as my power source and also test instrument, and I've sort of laid it out in a way that you can appreciate the circuit diagram. So the way to connect it is, you need to get your sensor that you want to test. And you'll probably find it could have three, four, five wires. But you need to determine the pinout and first of all put power onto the, uh, the illuminated part of the sensor itself. The sensor's actually got two parts. It's got a light source, which we're going to power at the moment with this. And then it's got a switch, and I'm going to put my LED across the switch. So that's my power source. And the switch I'm going to put across the other connections. Now your sensor could be different to mine, so please don't copy my uh, pin out here. You need to check what you have. So there's my switch in place. And then all I'm going to do is switch my power source on. And you can probably see the LEDs come on. And if I... Uh, get something to close the bridge the gap so in other words if I close the light source you see the LED goes out open it up LED goes on and that's simply pass fail and that's all you need to know your optical sensor works and you can replace the uh, uh, the optical sensor with your Hall effect device and you can test that in the very same way using the LED as an indication of whether it's actually working or not and that's it if you don't get the LED going on or off, then you know that your sensor is faulty and you need to change it. That's it, I hope that helps.